The absolute best library that I've found for face recognition is called DeepFace. No, it's not related to deep fakes, although the name is only one letter off. DeepFace is a lightweight face recognition and facial attribute analysis framework for Python. It essentially wraps many state-of-the-art models so you have access to VGG Face, Google FaceNet, etc. And what's interesting is that these models are actually more accurate than humans on facial recognition tasks. It's noted here that we are only about 97% accurate. The way to install it is simple, just run pip install DeepFace. You can also use Conda or install it from its source code. All right, so the first step is to import DeepFace from DeepFace. We will also want to import image and image draw from PIL, which will handle our image manipulation. I have this image file locally, margo.jpg, simply just opening this image and displaying it so it will display in this notebook and then calling deepface.analyze image path equals image path. And so this analyze function will actually give you a bunch of attributes about the image. So this is the image and we can see the analyze function ran and we get a bunch of attributes. We get the emotion, which has angry, disgust, fear, etc., and percentages for each one. And so the dominant emotion was neutral with a percentage of 50. It also gives the region, so the X and Y coordinates with the width and the height. It also gives a face confidence, the age, which is pretty accurate, and gender, percentage of woman or man, in this case it was woman, and also the race which in this case was white. And now what's cool about DeepFace is that it actually allows you to specify the detector backend. And so this is the part of the algorithm that just detects the face and you have access to all of these different detectors and you can choose which one you want to use. By default, OpenCV is used, but I've actually found that Retina Face is the most accurate, although it is a bit slower. So let's run it again with Retina Face this time. And we get basically the same results with slightly different numbers. And so if you look here, this image was processed with retina face and it did a really good job of getting all the faces here. If you were to use OpenCV for an image like this, there's no way it would get all of these different faces. You can actually see the difference in these models and how they crop the faces. OpenCV kind of has a big cropping here with a little bit of background, but Retina Face is very tight and same with MTCNN. And those are the two that I found to be the absolute best, although they are the slowest. So now a common task is to draw a square around the face. So we'll open the image, and we'll do the analysis, we'll get the region, and then using the region, we'll just draw a rectangle around it. And so our modified image path is margo-modify.jpg. We'll save it, and then we'll just open it and display it. So let's run this code. Here is the green rectangle around Margo's face. Now if I change the detector backend to retina face, and I run it again, the rectangle gets tighter around the face. So another common task is to verify if two faces belong to the same person. I have another image called margo2.jpg and I just call deepface.verify image one path and image two path and let it do its work. And so this is the second image. So it's another image of Margo. And the result is true, meaning that the two faces do belong to the same person with this distance being 0.13 being below the threshold of 0.4. Now again, if we want to do the opposite, verify that faces don't belong to the same person, I'm using this image instead, and we get false, the distance was 0.62 over the threshold of 0.4. And there are plenty of other use cases for deep face, like real-time analysis, so you can actually get emotions or other things in real time. There's an API, you can use it as a dockerized service. You can also use it from the command line. If you found that helpful, give a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you next time.